everybody. It's Easter Sunday. My house is full, well, not full of people. Beck and Polyus are over, and Lily, of course. We're getting ready to have dinner. Polyus is chatting with his family and his sister Camille, and we went to church this morning. If you saw this clip, you saw a clip with just music, no audio, because we were playing t the TV in the background. Um, we tried a new church, St. Paul's, I think it's called. Anyway, I think we like it. It's a cute little church. Um, just out here taking pictures, checking on the deer corn, which they haven't been by today to eat. So, you know, what are you going to do? Maybe they're taking the day off. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. So I wasn't actually uh, planning on going out of the house today, but I am planning a couple of projects for YouTube and I actually need some burlap so and how I don't have any I have no idea but I don't have any so we're gonna go buy some and then come back what can you do all right I'll be back do you hear the children they are playing on their trampoline and having a great time it is just before 7 p.m. on Wednesday, April 23rd. I forgot to turn the camera on today. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We all need to um, experience life, art, and creativity without the camera on now and then. I got a few projects done. Yes, I did do some stuff for YouTube. Um, this is my view of the oh, setting sun. Pretty view from the back backyard. Anyway, we've just eaten dinner. The husband's making some cookies, and um, it's been a good day. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm glad the kids are having so much fun. I think it's great. The sound of children having fun and playing. It's wonderful. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It's just before 8 a.m. Wednesday, April 24th. Don't get excited. Hello, computer. Um, I'm up here a little bit earlier than normal to get some of the social media work done, check on YouTube comments and all of that. I need to go to the store today, so I want to get this done before I leave. <clears throat> I'm working on my second cup of coffee. So we're going to get it done. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to Michael's. I need some glitter for a project. And um, yeah, got stuff to do. So got to better get my button gear. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so before we head downstairs to get dressed and go on errands, I'm working on another metal tumbler. This one is going to be a rainbow. Let me see what's there. It's going to be a rainbow tumbler. Uh, this is just a base layer of acrylic paint. Um, on, it's going to be a rainbow glitter tumbler. So um, I was looking for glitter colors. <laughs> and these here, I believe, are like they're sparkly, but I think they're flocking powder. I don't know if they'll work or not. I don't exactly have some of the right colors. Like my yellow is gold instead of yellow. I don't know. So we're going to head to Michael's and see if we can get, I'm hoping like a pack of like just jars like this in like rainbow colors. Um, so I don't end up with a ton of glitter that I don't really need. Um, but we'll find out. We're going to go take a shower, go to Michael's, go to the grocery store, you know, exciting things in my life. I know. <laughs> All right. I'm also going to finish the coffee. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, April 25th, I think. Yes, April 25th. We're upstairs at the computer, of course. That's how I know what day it is. <laughs> um, it's 7.50 a.m., and I'm going to do my daily social media posts. I need to take a couple of pictures 
empty the garbage can, get dressed in regular clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking our Sweet Bandit's crate. We actually have two dog crates. We had one for Lily, one for Bandit. Um, we're gonna keep the one that we use for Lily when she comes and we're gonna donate, I'm gonna donate the other one. I'm gonna go buy the dog shelter. Yeah, anyway, I need to run a couple other errands. I may stop in Value Village um, and just pop over there. I am sort of looking for another one of those quarter bins or two. They don't make them anymore. Not that exact one anyway, and I think the only way I'm gonna find it is if I happen across one at the thrift store, so. Anyway, I'll insert a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. Um, before I leave, I'm gonna put another coat of resin on the rainbow tumbler. First, I need to get my post done, so I'll be back. Okay, so. We've done the social media thing. I've obviously taken a shower and put something besides pajamas on. <laughs> um, I fed Bambi, took out the garbage, you know, the usual morning routine things. I have some stuff to mail off to my sister and the um, rainbow glitter resin tumbler is drying. Oh, well, it's got another coat of resin on it and it's spinning um, and drying. And um, we're gonna go make the donation to the animal shelter. I've got a few miscellaneous errands to run. I'd like to go by Value Village for one. So we are going to hit the road, I think. It's nine o'clock, so I have a couple hours to kill before the shelter opens, because I don't think they open until 11, but that gives me time to um, go run the other errands. I do need to probably go back to Michael's and get some more resin. I don't necessarily have to do that today, but we'll see. We'll see what I do, what I feel like doing when I get in the car. I don't know. I'll be back. I just scared Bambi away <laughs> when I was pulling out of the garage. I think he was probably eating his breakfast, which I just put out a few minutes ago. That's okay. They won't go far because they know there's food there. So as soon as I leave, they'll come back. Anyway, let's hit the road and get, that, uh, get the stuff done. I, I will say I'm finding out there's more and more of you in the... Um, Portland, Oregon area or within driving distance of and <laughs> that makes me happy and scared all at the same time <laughs> to be perfectly honest um, I don't know do you guys want to do a meet and greet we could meet somewhere for coffee we could meet somewhere um, to do a little um, shopping y'all could pick my brain about supplies um, uh, I don't know. What do you all think? We could meet somewhere for lunch. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. All right, I'll be back. As per usual, I got most of the errands done early and the dog rescue place isn't open yet. So that's okay. I'm going to wait in the parking lot. I do want to go to Value Village still, but it's on the other side of town so uh and i was over here doing other errands i didn't realize it, the rescue place was that close to um michael's and the liquor store and fred meyer and all that so um i'll just wait i don't know i've got a few minutes but that's okay doesn't hurt me to just chill so yeah and then we'll get the crate donated I'm not gonna have the heart to go look at the dogs because then I'll wanna take one home and I just can't do that right now. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, that's a thing. All right, that's it, I'll be back. Okay, so <clears throat> I found a couple things in Value Village, not too much, but uh, I'll show you all when I get home. I'm gonna head to one more thrift store I've been meaning to go to up here where I'm living now um, before I go home. I am starving. It's just about 12 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat since about 7 o'clock, so I am starving. But we're gonna go take a quick peek around. I'm just down the street from the other thrift store and then we'll go home and have lunch, so. Um, I will also- In three quarters of a mile. Make a U-turn onto State Highway 99W. There you go. Um, it was the first time I've been in a thrift shop where I've seen somebody scanning with one of their apps 
um, and checking prices on things for resale on Amazon or um, eBay. That was interesting. I'd never actually seen I've seen it on YouTube, um, but I've never seen it in person, so that was interesting. But anyway, all right, I'll be back. It's pretty weird. I pulled into the parking lot for one of the restaurants where Jeeves said to turn but I feel like I'm in the back of the building. I do see where the thrift store is, but I don't know where the entrance is at. So I'm gonna have to walk around the building and find out. Interesting. Okay, Union Gospel Thrift Store. It's on 99 in Tigard, Oregon. Uh, interesting place. They have a lot of really cool mid-century modern furniture right now. If my husband would let me, I'd be spending a bit of change in there. I love that style. Anyway, but we don't really need a new couch. I can't really justify it just because it's pretty. They had one that was actually recently reupholstered and it was turquoise. <sighs> anyway, but nothing else I needed, but cool store. I'll be back. Um, yeah, it's right off of 99. It's called uh, Union Gospel Thrift Store. It's behind Mazatlan family Mexican restaurant and a teriyaki place so there you have it I'm gonna go home and eat some lunch now because I am starving and that teriyaki sm place smells really good so here's my little haul for today <laughs> I don't drink alcohol but my husband was out of rum so I stopped at the liquor store to get that in Oregon you have to buy um, anything other than beer and wine at a liquor designated liquor store you can only get beer and wine at the grocery store so anyway had to make a trip for that. Got my pile of receipts down here. I was at Michael's yesterday, but I forgot to get some more resin to work on tumblers. I'm almost out of the other bottles of resin, so I got that. And then at Value Village, I found a few um, old patterns. And then also these silicone molds. This one I've had before, and I actually use it to make watercolor palettes. And then it had this one, which I immediately saw and have a product idea for, maybe for something for the Etsy store. So now I can relax and have some lunch, maybe go get the mail first, and that's it. I don't want to leave the house again. All right, I'll be get back. heavy boxes up the stairs. Does remind me, I still have asthma. Holy cow. Not to mention I'm out of shape. Wow. I got two more of those boxes coming. I ordered some um, shelves for the upstairs spare room. They're all arriving today, which is a day earlier than expected, which is fine. They're coming on three different UPS trucks. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, one is here, it's upstairs. I'm gonna go check the mail and then relax while I wait for the other two. Morning. It's just after 8.30 a.m. Friday, April 26th, I think. I almost said August, I admit it. Anyway, can't take me anywhere. Um, I've already been upstairs to do the social media thing. I put another coat of resin on the rainbow glitter tumbler I'm working on, hopefully final coat, and uh, a little bit of resin on a few other things I'm working on. And while I was upstairs, I heard Bambi or somebody moving the food bowl around, so I went and took a shower and I'm gonna go feed the herd now because that's a thing all right I'll be I back. mentioned before that I have asthma and I'm not young anymore hair in my mouth don't you hate that anyway I got one whoop, bookcase emptied all the art journals that were down here are all upstairs now next will be the art reference books some of which are here that's not all art reference books FYI <sighs> And I'm going to be going through the art reference books and purging what I haven't looked at in over a year. And um, probably seeing if I can list them on Amazon for sale. Um, if my seller's account's still active. And yeah, right now I'm going to sit down and have some water and take a little break, watch some YouTube. <sighs> Alright, I'll be back. All of the art journals and art reference books are now upstairs. And... The front room, these bookcases are like, I don't know, at least half empty. 
Uh, we have back here in the corner, tucked in the corner, there's some cookbook, bunch of cookbooks. So I think when we're rearranging the room this weekend, we'll be probably going through them and getting rid of some of them. Uh, the whole idea is for this to be sort of a family memorabilia room, meaning that we're going to have family photos and things like that, but also a game room. So um, probably at some point the chair and footstool are going to go upstairs into the big guest room. And uh, I really want to look for like a game table to be out here, maybe a round table, maybe the table that's currently in the dining room and getting a new dining room table. It'll kind of just depend on what we find. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're headed with that. And we'll put the games that are currently in the TV cabinet, let's see, yeah, there, um, up on the bookshelves, along with some glassware and memorabilia that's in the kitchen and dining room area. Um, we have this wire shelf, which will go away, and that has all the Wii stuff on it, so that'll go inside the TV cabinet. Good place for it, I think. So it's coming together. Share your new barbecue with the peeps, Fred. Look, barbecue. I got um, asparagus and some sirloin. Some um, bacon wrapped. Bacon wrapped sirloin. Loins. Nice. Barbecuing at the new house on the back patio. That's right. Got the awning up too. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. After like a half an hour of trying to figure out why the awning wouldn't re wouldn't go out. Yep. Anyway, pretty cool. Good morning. It is about 9.30, Saturday morning, April 27th. Don't get excited. I only know that because we've got something going on tomorrow. Anyway, we're getting ready to go out and run some errands, hit a rummage sale, get some stuff done, hopefully move some furniture around. We've got to drag a chair upstairs, you know, the usual, busy, busy, busy. All right, I'll be back. We're back in the car again. I know it kind of looks like we probably never left, but we did. We ran a yeah, we whole bunch of errands. We moved some more stuff around in the front room of the house. I uh, got a last minute um, text message about a job I'm working on for my sister, which I think we're finally in a good place on that. So I can get the real thing done for her next week. Um, phone calls from my mom. Yeah, lots of that. <laughs> So now we're off to go get some pizza for dinner at Pizza Caboose, which we love. And I will try to link their website in the description below. If you're in the um, Tiger Tualatin area, check them out. It's a local mom and pop place, really good pizza. The decor is a little bit past it, but really good pizza. Um, that's it for this week. We've had a great one. We hope you have too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. And don't forget to check the link list of links over at Linktree for places to follow me on social media and support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and we'll see you later. Bye guys.